Who's it? What's the name of it? Ag, Ag, it's uh, something we hardly ever talk and never touch at all with something. When did you first start liking Fagger? In 1960, uh, let's see, 67. How long had he been playing then? Just starting. Oh, how did you first hear him? On radio. Uh, Who's and he came on the radio and I said, now wait a minute, that's real country there. <laughs> you know, back in the 60s they were playing real country. Mm -hmm. But to me, that hit me right in the heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, yeah, me uh, too. That's about when I started. Yeah. yeah. And uh, him and Alan Jackson. What songs was he playing back then, do you remember? Yeah, he started out with, uh, with uh, this right. one right here. To Larry Dust and a farm boy's nose, wondering where the freight train goes, standing in the middle of a cotton patch, cussing the strap on his cotton sack. I can see mom and dad. Shoulders low, both of us picking from a double row. They do it for a living because they must. That's life like it is in the two Larry Dust. The first thing I remember knowing was a lonesome whistle blowing, a young dream of growing up dry. Freight train leaving town, not knowing where I'm bound. No one could change my mind but Mama tried. One and only rebel child from a family meek and mild. My mama seemed to know what lay in store. In spite of all my family learning, toward the bad kept on turning, till Mama couldn't hold me anymore. I turned 21 in prison, doing life without parole. No one steered me right. Mama tried, Mama tried, Mama tried to raise me better. Cleaning I denied. It's only me to blame, cause Mama tried. Dear old daddy, rest his soul. Left my mama heavy load. She tried so very hard to fill his shoes. Working hours when I rest, she wanted me to have the best. She tried to raise me right, but I refused. I turned 21 in prison, doing life without parole. No one steered me right. Mama tried, Mama tried, Mama tried to raise me better. Cleaning out the night, sleeps only me to blame, don't Mama try. He wanted that out there early because of his prison sentence, and he wanted everybody to know it. Yes, sir. And uh, and that song right back caught my ear. I said, "Man, one of my favorites of his is this one right here because it reminds me of how we had practice in the bus going to a show." Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to play the uh, Shadrachs in Boone once a month. Mm -hmm. And boy, that was a place to play, boy. Mm -hmm. They had the sound system tire man with a man in the tire way out there in the audience, you know, mm -hmm. doing the sound. He made sure every mic was on the instrument mm -hmm. and all that. And uh, we'd practice sometimes in the bus, you know, going up. And this song that Merle Hager wrote one day. before he got real famous. In downtown Modesto I was working in the holiday I would sit with the guests that left us throughout the weekend. I was singing a new song that I wrote on the way. Well, 
suburb of Bakersfield and in Bakersfield that was called the Nashville of the West because they, all they had out there was country singers and bands and country clubs and I uh, forget the name of the club that he started out in but uh, uh, he thought that he would end up being a lead guitar picker in some band really? He didn't think he would ever be a singer. That that wasn't his goal, really. Really? No. And uh, he was in this club in Bakersfield, sitting in the audience, and he he and he had a little band put together, and he had played in there on jam nights and stuff. And the owner of that uh, club uh, had Lefty Frizzell in there, booked in there, and that was Merle Hanger's mentor, Lefty Frizzell. And uh, he, uh, let, let me hand you this there. Yeah, and he, uh, let get my tuner off of it. But anyway, the manager of the uh, Lefty, you know, he drank a lot. He was sitting there drinking on his break, and house band was up there while he was on his break. And, uh, and the owner of the club went up to Lefty and said, said Lefty he says, uh, this boy right here, cause he took Merle over there, and he was on his Mm -hmm. uh, about 17 or 18 or so. So this boy right here can really sing. Mm -hmm. I mean, he can really sing. And uh, and I like for you get him up there and let him sing a song. And uh, and Lefty said, no, I can't do that. I'm a professional. <laughs> and the owner of the bar said, well, I tell you what, you either let him up there or you can pack your shit out and leave. <laughs> <laughs> 
So, so that's how I got discovered. He got up there and he sung, sing a sad song. Mm -hmm. And it's one that Lefty recorded years ago. Well, you gotta sing and Lefty you. wrote it. You and gotta sing that for me before you leave because I wanna, I wanna put that on YouTube. You tell them about Burley, you, you've got